Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. Today we're going to be cutting a base cabinet, a wall cabinet, and a tall cabinet that were generated by KCD software. This should really be interesting. KCD is a very good kitchen design software that's been around a long time. They have a lot of customers. And it only seems natural if you're using KCD to design your jobs, when you add CNC, it kind of makes sense to stay with KCD. So some of these customers came and asked us to do a test. And so what we did was we created our CNC construction method that we recommend. We output a base cabinet, a wall cabinet, and a tall cabinet. We cut those together and we assemble them and let's see what's gonna happen. This is KCD, and what I've created is just a simple job we use to set up CNCs. I don't care about designing the kitchen or anything like that. What I'm interested in doing is identifying three cabinets, a base cabinet, a wall, and a tall, working out the construction method so it, it configures the parts the way we want them and test it on the machine. So that's what the purpose of this is. These are standard cabinets. The only change I made was I went to each cabinet and I made the end panels, uh, unfinished ends, and I did that so holes get drilled for assembly so it's easier to put them together. You go to parts, and then this is a construction method I created. They call it a cutlass method. All right, and I go to edit, and there's a series of questions that you answer. It has to do with the cabinet construction method, the setup, everything, and when you're finished, it knows how to build your cabinet. So first thing you do, I want to do a base cabinet first, I'm gonna output it and put it together and see if all the parts fit. Now, usually they do. Sometimes the data will be too tight or too loose or something like that. But your first step then is to create the base cabinet. All right, well, how would we do that? Well, we close this. Okay, I come over and select that. This time I'm gonna say, okay, I just want the base cabinet. So all this is gonna do is, is nest that base cabinet. I hit calculate. And here comes our nest, and there it is. I did make the cabinet a certain size so that all the parts would fit on one sheet. But here, here you can see all the parts. There's your end panels, there's all your dados, and everything like that. So then all I do is I hit G-code, and it's created a G-code for this. It's, this is the file right here. So that's the G-code file to run that nest. So then what we do is we take that out, and we run that nest on the machine, and we put it together, and we check and make sure everything fits. One of the other things you'll notice on this nest screen is there's actually individual part drawings listed as DXS. In fact, I can view them. Uh, let's look at that. There's a shelf, or there's a side panel right there. See, there's, there's a data for your bottom, there's your holes. So there's actually, each of these are created as DXFs, and if I wanted to take one of these and add a feature to it, like a hole, I could actually do that at the DXF level, and that would get automatically processed into the system. Okay, now the next step is to take the wall cabinet. So let's take that. Let's go back to the go parts, select our construction method, select our unit, and this time it's gonna be the top cabinet. And we'll hit calculate. And we'll see our nest momentarily. And there's the parts. So there are all the parts. Once again, there's DXFs created if you needed them. Right, so there's our, our wall cabinet. Then once again, I would go out and cut that on the machine. And I need one more file and that is to do the, the pantry. And a pantry or tall cabinet is basically a combination of a base cabinet construction and a wall cabinet construction. So let's close this, come back over here, select that. Now this time let's select the pantry. We'll hit calculate, okay. Now this one takes a little more material. Okay, here's the first sheet. You can see uh, there's one of the end panels. That's probably the back. Here's the next sheet, and here's the final sheet. So once again, all we do now is we take the G-code, go out the machine, and run it. So what we want to do is we want to go cut all three of these cabinets, put them together, and validate that our construction method is set up correctly. Now let's go to the machine.
Well, we just got the cabinets back from our Shop Saver cabinet assembly team, and they came out great. Now, we did a wall cabinet, a base cabinet, and a tall cabinet. And we did that because if all three of those fit, pretty much everything else is gonna work in the software. And remember, our goal in this was to create our Shop Saber CNC construction method, but using KCD software for some of our KCD users. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.